Big cook, little cook Welcome to our cafe Big cook, little cook Want you to come and play Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world! <laughs> Can you hear that whistling? That's Ben. He's getting some flowers from the garden. They're going to be big, colourful and smell beautiful! <laughs> He's asked me to find a vase to put the flowers in. Now, what would be perfect to put flowers in? Oh, this will be fine! Hey, I can't wait to see the flowers. Can you? Here we are, small. Oh, hello, everyone. <laughs> they're not flowers, they're vegetables, Ben. I'm sorry, small, but none of my flowers have grown. I'm not very good at growing flowers. Oh, never mind. You're really good at growing vegetables. Now, come on, put them in this vase. Oh, small, they look really silly in that cup. Oh, I wish I could grow flowers. You can, Ben. You just need a bit of practice, that's all. <coughs> We've got a customer. I'm on my way! Woohoo! Who's our customer today, Small? Well, he does this. He does this? I think he's digging. Oh, it could be someone who could help me with my flowers. Is it a gardener, Small? Yes, Ben. It's Gary the gardener. Oh, brilliant. Gary the gardener. Ho, ho, ho. I wonder what we could cook for him. I don't know, Ben. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Gary the gardener was brilliant at growing things. Everyone said he had green fingers, but his fingers weren't really green. What they meant was that he could grow anything at all from a tiny little seed. He planted seeds everywhere. He watered them. He talked to them and cared for them until every corner of his garden was full of beautiful flowers. He grew roses and tulips, daisies and sunflowers, delicious vegetables like carrots and leeks. But he grew so many that he didn't know what to do with them all. Gary decided to give his flowers and vegetables away to his neighbours. But he still had lots left in his garden. What was he going to do with them all? Then Gary put a sign outside his house that read, Free! Pick your own flowers and vegetables. There was a big queue every day, but he was still left with lots in his garden. What was he going to do with them all? Gary borrowed a big van from a friend. He piled it high with flowers and vegetables from his garden and drove off to the local school. The teachers and children were very pleased to see Gary. They decorated the classrooms with his flowers and ate his delicious vegetables at lunchtime. But Gary was still left with lots and lots of flowers and vegetables in his garden. What was he going to do with them? I knew that I had to help, so I climbed on my spoon and flew straight to his house. I suggested that we dried the flowers so they would keep forever and pickled the vegetables and put them in jars. That meant his vegetables wouldn't be wasted and would last for a very long time. They will all make brilliant presents from our friends, said Gary. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. That was brilliant! Oh, Gary's really clever. He can grow vegetables and flowers. Way! I know, Ben. I've never seen so many. Now we need to think what to cook for him. You're right, Small. Thinking cap's on. Oh! I 
know Big Cook's Big Cookery Book? Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. <coughs> Gardener's Pickle. It looks yummily scrummily. Pickle perfect. <laughs> hey, hey, you read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need onion. Onion, over we go. Here we are. Onion, got it small. Red peppers. Ooh, lovely red peppers. Nice and red. There we go, yep. Yellow peppers. Yellow peppers as well. Uh, yellow peppers, yep. Salt. Over in the cupboard, the salt. There we are, got it small. Malt vinegar. Ooh, malt vinegar. Here we go, malt vinegar, yep. Turmeric. Turmeric, turmeric, all yellow there, got it. Mustard seeds. Ooh, mustard seeds. There we go, yep. And granulated sugar. Granulate, oh, there it is. Got the granulated sugar as well. Here we are. Everything we need for the recipe. Well, we know Gary likes vegetables. This is going to be picklicious. <laughs> uh, small? Yes, Ben? Can you pickle anything? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> well, why don't you whiz off and find out and I'll get everything ready? That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo choo! This is the right place. This field is full of shallots. The farmer is picking them. There they are. Shallots are like onions, but smaller. This lady is going to pickle some shallots. First of all, she has to peel them. Off comes the skin. Now the shallots have to soak for a while in some salt and water. That's the vinegar that the shallots are going to be pickled in. The vinegar is going to be heated up on the cooker. Remember, this is a grown-up helper's job. Look, the vinegar is bubbling. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Now the shallots are ready, it's time for more fun. Hooray! First, you have to fill up the jar with lots of shallots. Pack them in tightly. Then you can add some herbs and spices, any you like. They're peppercorns. Pour in the vinegar. Put on the lid and that's pickled shallots. That was great! See you later! Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Oh, and here are our peppers now. Way! I'm back! I had a fantastic time. Oh! And guess what I saw being pickled? Tell me, Small. Shallots! Oh, dear. Have you got a cold? <laughs> no, Ben. Shallots. I saw shallots growing in a field, and then they were pickled in vinegar. <laughs> shallots, brilliant! <laughs> Sounds great, Small. But we better get cooking. Gary the gardener will be really hungry by now. Right you are, Ben. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go princess pea pies. 
carrot cakes and fruity smiles As envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Gardener's Pickle? You do? There was onion. One. Chopped. Red peppers. Two. De-seeded and sliced. Yellow peppers. Two. De-seeded and sliced. Salt. One tablespoon. Malt vinegar. 300 millilitres. Turmeric. One teaspoon. Mustard seeds. One teaspoon. And granulated sugar. 150 grams. Whoopee! Let's get started! Right, first I'm going to put all the vegetables into a mixing bowl. And now the peppers, in they go, and then I'm going to sprinkle the salt over the top, and then mix them all up together, like this. Here we are, mix, 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 there. What's next, Small? Oh, cover the bowl with clear film and leave it for 12 hours. OK, then. Cover the bowl with clear film and leave it for 12 hours. Right, they're ready. What's next, little cook? Put all the vegetables into a colander and rinse them with cold water to wash off the salt. OK, then. Let's wash off the salt. I'll go and get the kitchen roll, ready to dry the vegetables afterwards. Here we are. All the salt's washed off now. Oh, small! <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> I seem to have got myself into a bit of a pickle. <laughs> you have. <laughs> right. Never mind, small. Uh, I'll put the vegetables in this nice clean tea towel to dry them. <laughs> now, pour the vinegar, the mustard seeds, turmeric and the sugar into a saucepan and bring it to the boil. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because it's a hob job and the hob is hot, hot, hot. The turmeric will turn the mixture yellow. It's boiling now, so turn the heat right down and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. Ben, the 10 minutes are up. OK, Small, I'm going to put the chopped vegetables into the pan and then bring the mixture Back to the boil. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because it's a hob job and the hob is hot, hot, hot. Cook for a couple of minutes, then remove from the heat and let it cool for a bit. Just give it a final stir and then remove it from the heat to let it cool down. And whilst we're waiting for it to cool down small, we can sing my favourite rhyme. Yippee! I love rhymes! It's Peter Piper Pit. Sing it with me, Small. You join in too. Peter, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Come on, Small, faster. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, Where's the bag of pickled, pickled peppers, peppers Peter, Peter Piper picked? Oh! In the saucepan! Oh, right! Hey, hey! <laughs>
Now that it's cooled, we can spoon the mixture into a clean sterilized jar. And I'm going to make a snazzy label to stick onto the jar. Do 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 <laughs> There we are. And on goes the lid. There we go. All done. Ben, can you stick this on the jar, please? Thank you, Small. Oh, that's great. I'll just stick it to the side of the jar. Like this. There we go. And to finish it off, I'm going to pop a bit of cloth over the top and use an elastic band to hold it in place. There we go. It looks brilliant, doesn't it, Small? It certainly does, Ben. Quickly, let's get it through to Gary the gardener. OK. I'm just going to pop it onto a plate with some bread and cheese. And there we have it. One gardener's pickle coming through. Ah, there. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes. And it looks like Gary the gardener enjoyed his gardener's pickle. Look, Small, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Woohoo! Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, I really enjoyed my pickalicious gardener's pickle. I know Ben would really like to grow some flowers, so I thought I'd give you some of my fast-growing seeds to say thank you. I think you'll enjoy them from Gary the Gardener. Hey, look, Ben. Those must be the fast-growing seeds. <laughs> oh, yes. And listen, Small, there are seeds in them. Well, what are you waiting for, Ben? Let's, Let's water, water them. them. Hey! hey. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> They really are fast-growing flowers, Small. You've got green fingers after all, Ben. Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. <laughs> Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. 